Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. I typically share updates regarding my Big Chop journey, but in this video, I decided to switch things up and share a clothing haul. I didn't buy any of these items for the purpose of filming. This is actually just footage of me trying on clothes that I got online for chilling at home. I get so frustrated with my online shopping experience because so many times I end up spending hours and hours shopping online only to end up with clothes that either don't fit me properly or just don't look the way I expected them to look in person. So instead of returning everything, this time around I decided to share my experience. So if you would like to see what I ordered versus what I got, as well as tips on how to save you time and money on your next online shopping experience, stay tuned. Okay, so I wore the first few outfits on the colder days as fall transitioned into spring. I love the pattern of this sweater as well as how vibrant the colors are and natural lighting. If I could have tried these pants on before buying, I would have found a more fitted pair of pants as a nice contrast to this oversized sweater. I love these skinny jeans. I feel like dark jeans look cute with mostly everything. And I love the fact that H&M sizes run small. I can always trust that their clothes will fit me even if I can't dry them on before I buy. And I like this sweater too. It's one of my favorite colors. Okay, so I don't love this sweater. I don't hate the sweater. I just really don't like how bulky it feels when I wear it. So I literally really only wear this sweater when I'm at home. This is another outfit I really wanted to like because I like the style and the color. It looks like a dressy jogger set, but I just don't like the way this fits. I would be willing to shop this site again because I like the quality of their fabric. I would just try a different look since certain styles and fabrics can affect the way an outfit fits. This next set is perfect for chilling at home or running errands. All the clothes I got from Misguided are true to size and the fabric is comfortable enough to wear. So I would definitely shop their site again. My biggest drawback with Misguided is their turnaround time. It took forever to receive my products. But now that I have an idea of how long they typically take, I'll plan accordingly when I shop their site. I stepped out of my comfort zone with a lot of these looks. I actually prefer more fitted shirts because I feel like oversized shirts just kind of swallow me up. Uh, I do like the fact that these joggers are not too baggy, which offers a bit of contrast for this shirt. This shirt does not fit me as perfectly as it fits the model. The sleeves fit a little loose, but overall I like this outfit, especially because it comes with the jacket, which really pulls the look together. Naked Wardrobe offers really cute basic pieces. I love the quality of the fabric of this top. It fits me perfectly and I paired it with these joggers from Pretty Little Thing because I thought this outfit was so cute I wanted to replicate this look. I actually bought several other items that were really cute from Pretty Little Thing but none of them fit me properly so I returned them before I decided to make this video. Because we are still social distancing, online shopping just makes perfect sense. So the next time I shop online, the very first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I go right to their size chart to make sure that not only do they offer my size, but actually that their size that they offer matches my measurements because not all sizes are created equal. So that's the very first thing I do now when I go online um, before I even shop the website because not every website is going to carry my size. So before I even waste my time, I'd rather just double check the size chart to make sure that they match my measurements. And the very next thing I do is make sure I know their return policy because I'm definitely the type of person that's going to return something. Like I'm not going to just buy things and just keep everything even though I don't like it. I have no problem returning something. Some stores offer a 30 day return policy, Naked Wardrobe, they actually have a 15 day return policy. So it's important to know what the time frame is, especially with online shopping, because it takes time to ship the items back, especially somebody like myself. If I don't try the clothes on immediately, you know, time gets away from me and now I'm stuck with something because I actually didn't pay attention to the time that I had. So it's very important that you know the return policy. Not only are we looking at the return policy for um, the time frame that we have to actually get the item back to the store, but the next thing we're looking for is just details on 
what their policy is as far as like if you actually tried on the item actually wore the item when shopping online you're not going to be able to just wear something and take it back not that i intend to buy things for the purpose of wearing them and taking it back if i have shoes i'll actually put like paper down so that i can actually walk on the shoes and make sure that i actually like the way they feel um, because I don't want to end up with shoes that it might hurt my ankle or hurt my knee. You want to be sure that you know all of the details of the return policy, especially with items online. They are not going to take anything back that has, uh, that has been worn. Um, they will not take anything back uh, if the tags were removed. Usually I don't remove the tags. I make sure that I follow those policies anyway because I want to take good care of the item. The next thing I look for is their customer service. How easy is it to access someone from customer service? Because if you need to um, double check on maybe an order that took too long to get to you or never even arrived, you don't want to end up in a situation where there's a website that basically has no point of contact or they take forever to get back in contact with you. I actually had two instances, pretty little thing. They were actually very responsive. They get back to you within 24 hours. They confirm that they received uh, your inquiry, but they'll also make sure they take care of it whatever your request is very quickly. I actually had to return all of the items that I got from Pretty Little Thing except the cargo pants. And um, they responded very quickly and returned my item in a timely fashion. Also, there was another item, actually the shirt that they advertised that came with the cargo pants didn't even arrive. So I ended up letting them know that I never received it. And they literally refunded my money within a few days. So. I definitely appreciate a website with responsive customer service. Um, I definitely gave Pretty Little Thing five star for their customer service. I would definitely shop their site again, uh, being mindful of like certain fabrics and how those certain fabrics fit. I also had to contact Misguided's customer service because they actually took the longest to ship their items. It actually got to a point where I thought that the items were either lost or just never even shipped. They said that it was shipped, but the last post office that they sent it to before sending it to me, it that item was held there for like two weeks. So I misguided actually took 36 days before I received my products. A pretty Little Thing takes about two weeks. Meshki and Naked Wardrobe, they were super responsive. They came literally within six days. So misguided customer service um i actually had to text back and forth i had the option of texting back and forth or actually sending a message through facebook um which case because it took so long i did both um the texting back and forth was actually very responsive and eventually the message through facebook that came through as well and i ultimately concluded that i would give them a, a couple more days because it was still within like a 30 day window and they basically said due to the times that we're in some of the shipping would take longer so i gave them a little longer if you can't reach somebody when you can't get your item that's not good like i was literally thinking that my order for misguided was not even coming so definitely check on customer service really just looking for customer service and seeing what their policies are if you ever need to get in contact with them. The next thing I would do before I even consider purchasing an item from an online retailer is to check the reviews. The reviews can actually give you a, a better idea of what you can expect. In the process of me waiting for my order to be sent to me from Misguided, I started looking at their Instagram and I noticed that people were saying the same thing. They were basically saying that you know, it took them a long time to ship. It really just allows me to kind of set my expectations. So I can't say that as a result of this experience, I won't be shopping with them again. I just know what to expect. So I definitely wouldn't like count on ordering from somebody who I know is gonna take a long time. I wouldn't order from them if like I'm in a rush or I have an event to go to, like I would plan accordingly. Before I go ham and just buy a whole wardrobe from them, I would just buy like maybe one outfit and even if you want to see like how the quality of their fabrics are and then also how they fit um, and also to save time 
I consider buying a size up or a size down, just depending on the item. One of the things I bought from Pretty Little Thing that I returned a while ago was this really cute cord set that was uh, a scarf pattern. I knew that it was an oversized shirt and it fit the model perfectly, but that oversized shirt was just way too big for me. So what I could have done was basically order my actual size and then maybe a size smaller just to see which size I like better. And then I could have actually kept the one that fit the best and returned the other one. If it's something I'm absolutely in love with and I just know that, you know, I need it to work, that's an option as well. Okay, so the next thing I plan on doing is building out an entire outfit instead of like, piecing things together together um for instance what i did with my outfit from um pretty little thing and uh naked wardrobe where basically i got a shirt from this website and the cargo pants from another website making sure that i'm putting a full outfit together like for me i have to do that um, if you notice a lot of the items that I got, they were actually cords, basically a set. I like to really just pull everything together because if I don't, like if I decide I'm going to buy this one piece because I absolutely love this and thinking that, oh, I'm going to buy another piece, like eventually when I come across something that works perfectly, I'll end up stuck with a shirt or stuck with a pair of pants. I'll save myself time and money by just putting an entire outfit together that way, you know, once I get everything, I actually have it and I'm all set. Another thing that I make sure I do now is try on every single thing that I got the same day I receive it. That way, if I love it, I'm like happy I got it. Or if I hate it, I actually can make sure that I'm within the window to return the item because a lot of times I procrastinate. I am a serious procrastinator. I'll literally take like a week or two before I actually take the time to try everything on. I could be shipping something back to the UK, so I have to make sure that when I get that item, I make sure I try it on and I make sure I can pair it with something to make sure that I'm actually gonna keep it. Whenever possible, I like to shop online retailers that also have a physical store. That way, if I end up with something that I don't like or doesn't fit me properly, instead of having to go through the whole ship shipping process, I'll actually just take it back to the store. That's one of the reasons why I absolutely love shopping H&M. Not only do their clothes actually fit me, but also I can literally just go to H&M if I don't like something. I literally can go there and exchange the item or just get my money back without having to wait. Once I receive the item, I'm also looking for the quality um, because things that look really good in picture don't always translate well in person, even though I may not spend a lot of money on my items. I wanna not only like an item, but I also wanna feel comfortable and confident wearing it. Also, when I'm paying attention to the fabric, now I can keep in mind how that style of fabric actually fits. I like the fact that on Pretty Little Things website, and I think other websites too, but I, I'm at the top of mind, I remember it definitely being listed on Pretty Little Things website, the, the kind of fabric that the clothing items are. That way I'll know whether or not when I get this, this is something that's actually gonna fit me or this kind of fabric is, it actually runs big. So pay attention to the type of fabric and also make sure it's quality, something that you feel comfortable wearing over and over again. Something that's timeless so you can keep in your wardrobe. Um, unless you're looking to be trendy. I will not buy anything full price unless I am absolutely in love with it. Like so in love with it that if I don't buy this right now, I'm gonna start having dreams about it, fantasizing, <laughs> wishing I bought it. Cause I actually do that sometimes when I see something and I don't buy it, I literally be like, I should've got that shirt. I should've got that dress. So I just make sure that I absolutely love an item if I pay full price because I know that it's gonna go on sale. I used to buy things from Express and pay full price. And then like three weeks later, this item is like $40 less. Unless you absolutely love it, that's the only item they have in your size. Maybe you need it for a special event. Especially a lot of these websites that I bought this stuff from. Like literally, they always have sales. So wait for the sale. I also make sure that I'm staying within my budget. So if I went on this website and I have 
a certain amount of money that I plan on spending, pay attention to that cart because that stuff starts to add up. So make sure you're staying within your budget. And again, I like to shop on sale not only because I'm frugal and I know that it's gonna go on sale, <laughs> but also the benefit is, you know, if you're not gonna be a person that repeats items you like to shop frequently for me personally i like to stay within my budget i start paying attention to who i feel like i can count on the most because then they're going to be my go-to place whether it's shopping online or going in person like i literally know that if i'm if i need something real quick i literally can go to h m especially now with fitting rooms being closed their sizes actually fit me and i know that i like the quality of the item and i know that it's going to be within my budget so once you start to pay attention to, you know, the pattern of every time I buy from this place, I'm usually happy with what I get. Make sure you go back to that place. Like, let that be, you know, your go-to place. Have a few stores that are your go-to place. So it just makes your online shopping experience easier and you can count on the fact that you're gonna be happy with them. This video was more about what I learned from my experience and what I'm gonna do to improve my experience in the future. So it's more about that than actually what I bought. So let me know what tips you found most helpful in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you're interested in seeing more try on hauls for me. I definitely love fashion and I would love to do more lookbooks. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.